It's Hip Hop Slam, I'm Billy Jam, and this is the video show that talks about rap music. Well, there's also a lot of magazines out there, an awful lot of magazines. We counted about 10 or so, and we've got here on Hip Hop Slam, David Paul, who's editor of The Bomb Magazine. Bam! San Francisco. And this is the Bishop of Hip Hop. Writes for Rap Pages, a uh, national rap magazine, which is pretty new to the scene and is getting a lot of respect. I want to start with you, David. I mean, how many magazines are actually out there? I'd major say about um, major, probably about four. Um, indies, probably about 10 to 15. There's a lot of people in like every regional area starting a magazine right now. So that means you could go out and you could pick up. Rap fans can find a lot of magazines to read about the music, whereas a few years ago it was just the source. Yeah, before it was just the source. And now there's, you know, tons. Yeah. You think that there's room for all of these magazines? Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, you know, there's a lot of different aspects that people have of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you have ones that are more into the hip hop culture, you know, and what, you know, the, the root of the people really think. And then you have, you know, ones that are more in a plastic MCs, but we won't talk about it. Well, that's what I want to ask you about. Do you think that because it's a hip-hop magazine that it should be strictly music or music-related? Um, I don't know. That's why I'm glad that there's a whole bunch of them. Because you have the ones that, you know, like I said, you know, you have, you know, there's MCs that I'd rather not read about, but I won't, which I won't mention. But, I mean, you know, there's a lot of people that are, you know, you need to know. I like to hear about the MCs that talk about what they've been through, what they do, you know what I'm saying? So you can get to meet the MC and not just so-and-so had a really cool show. Because that's cool, but I want to know what's really going on in that person's head. Now, in the current issue of Rap Pages, you have two articles. One is about with a not local artist, right? Yeah, I um, have an interview with Paris about what's going on with him and his new album and stuff, which is pretty cool. And then I have one called Father for You, which deals with uh, black males being fathers to their children and, you know, taking responsibility for, you know, their whole just being a father and just really being there. And what I do is I use my, the close relationship that I have with my father as, you know, a symbol of a good black male, you know, father and son bond and just, you know, try to take it from there. And this is something that's definitely not just music. I mean, it's you, it's like putting your, yourself out in the line there, not a biography. Yeah, you know, because it's just important that black males really, you know, start to get a grip and handle that because um, our situation as a people is past condition critical. And one of the reasons for that is because that black males haven't been take, taking that responsibility. And I just hope that this is something that'll get, you know, if this gets some black kid to put on a condom so he, you know, won't mess around because he really knows he don't want to be a father, that's good. And if it gets some brother that's not taking his responsibility to see how serious it really affects the whole us as a people, then that's even better. And I hope it takes that. Now, as far as the bomb is concerned, the bomb is different from other magazines just from looking at it because it's a Xerox. And also, in reading it, there's a lot of different things. How would, what would you say makes it different from other magazines? What's your goal? I would say it's probably um, street, and the look is street, and the content is street. And plus, we have a lot of good writers. Um, and I don't know, we just stay street, which is, I think, the basis for anything that's rap or true hip-hop is street, comes from the street. So what do you try and steer away from? Um, commercial hip-hop. Top 40 hip hop, um, <laughs> ultra wackness. I don't. I mean, I don't want to say any names of any crew, so you know, I don't want to lose any advertising dollars. So uh, I'll keep my mouth shut. Okay. Now, some people have said that magazines such as The Source have got a little bit weak. They got what's her name, Mary Blige. Is that mm, whatever? Mm, yeah, Blige. I saw that. And she's definitely not rap music. She's good, yeah. but she's not rap. So is this where you would draw the line? Oh, well, she got hip hop beats. So, um, to a point, you know, and she got Pooba on there and she got leaders. So, um, I can see how that can quote unquote cross over and how some magazines would write about it. <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't run it in my magazine, but, um, Well, I, I mean, you know, the whole thing is, you know, plus they had like TLC on the cover. Now, <laughs> my whole thing with TLC on the cover is like, what is that? I mean, okay, let's just be real, okay? TLC is not hip-hop music. It's not, but that's just my opinion. It's not, why? When you can have somebody like, there's a million artists out there that could have been up there. They could have had the Beastie Boys up there. They could have had Poobah up there. They could have had Latifah, Light, a whole bunch of female MCs. But hey, magazines do what they want to do and that's why it's a good thing there's a lot of variety. 
and there is a lot of variety. So what we want to know just quickly is one last question, each of you, if you could only go out, people are watching and they have so much dollars, magazine, if someone had to go out, obviously you're going to be biased in this, but if they only could go out and get two rap magazines to get a good overview of what's happening, what would you recommend, honestly? Honestly? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, I'd probably say rap pages in the source, but you know, I think you should spend some money on the bomb too, since it's dirt cheap. Okay, <laughs> thanks a lot, David Paul, the Bishop of Hip Hop from Rap Pages. What would you recommend to people? I have just to say is um, rap pages, <laughs> word, and um, the source. But you cannot sleep on the bomb. The bomb is hard. You know what I'm saying? Don't sleep. Thank you both, gentlemen. Peace. We are out of here.